Hello everyone, I wanted to do a quick video about how to add stuff to the builder project that we released earlier. So it comes with a bunch of stuff already applied, but if you wanted to add some to it, here's how you could do it. So inside the third person blueprint folder, the blue one, we got the blueprints. The teal one, according to my daughter. <laughs> inside the building components, this is the parent class that everything originates from. So if you want to add your own item, you can just create a child blueprint class of it. And then just set what kind of placement it is. So there's floor, wall, ceiling, or decoration. But I already have one of each type done. So here's a ceiling base, a floor base, a wall base, and a decoration base. The doorway is actually just a wall base, uh, but I just used a different mesh that was the same size. So for instance, if you wanted to have like a fancy floor or something, you can just create a child blueprint of the floor base. Let's do a checker floor underscore BP. Open it up. Highlighting the mesh in the middle, I'm just going to change this to be ceramic tile. Fancy. And then if you wanted, and that's all it takes to add it, just make sure it's the mesh is the same size and you can just alter the material. Or let's change it, let's add a wall. So let's see, this would be a stone wall. I hate when it's not on screen when I'm typing it, but yeah. So we'll just highlight the mesh and we'll just make this a brick wall like that. All right. Now we need a ceiling, so I'm just going to create a child of the ceiling, and this will be wooden ceiling, since we spend all our money on the tile floor. We'll double click and open it up, go to the mesh, change the material, what we got under wood. Uh, walnut. Walnut looks nice. Fancy. I'm digging it. Alright, and now that we have those three created, let's go into the player blueprint, which is in the blueprints folder. And then right here in the variables tab, there's this spawnables array. I'm going to remove all the elements of mine, and I'm just going to add the three we just made. So that was a checker floor, a stone wall, and a wooden ceiling. You don't have to add them in the same order, it doesn't matter, it just affects how the order that they'll be scrolled through on your end. So if I go into print, or go into play mode, now I can add my fancy checker floor. And then if I want my wall, and then my ceiling. That one's harder to see. There is some clipping, but you won't really see that once all the walls are put in. Because it's not visible from the outside, so. Except for, you know, that outside. But you, you get what I'm saying. So it's that easy to start just adding more stuff. Just real quick, just because I'm going to duplicate the doorway. And just call it stone door. I'm duplicating that one because it's not a base. It's a it's a child of the wall blueprint. So I'm gonna get the item and just make it like that. And then just to show, I'm gonna go back into the player. I'm gonna add that stone doorway, stone door. And then I'm gonna add four more. And this is going to be the floor base wall base, ceiling base, and doorway, regular doorway. So that way you can see that it's not just changing the ones we did have. There's. It. 
You can't really see it from the outside, but yeah. You can kind of tell that that's a different ceiling. But yeah, that easily you can add stuff. Oh, and if you place something you don't like, just right click, bam, there you go. Same thing with the decorations. Let's take a little look, see, see what we got left in the decoration. I think I made everything. Let's see, starter content. Props. Oh, we can use the bush. We'll use the Oh, there it goes. Okay. Let's make a little decoration of a bush. So I'm going to go find my decoration base right here. Should have done a little bit more organization, I suppose. <laughs> but let's just, uh, let's be bush underscore BP or bush deco, whatever you want to call it. Open it up. This one doesn't have a mesh to alter the material of. You just set the actual static mesh. So we'll just go the bush right there. And it's because it doesn't have any snapping. Let's go into the player blueprint. Get rid of all this. Add my checker floor, my stone wall, and my stone door. And wooden ceiling. Uh, ceiling lamp, ceiling light. And then, of course, the bush. So let's jump in real quick. Check our floor. Now I'll just jump to the bush. Anyway, there's the bush. And then just like others. Oh. Apparently, you just mess with the collision on that so it actually registers. <laughs> but yeah, just that easily. Just build whatever you like. Add whatever you like. Rip it apart. See what you can glean from it. Hopefully, it's helpful. Um, and hope you enjoy. Links in the description for the project files for those of you who haven't, don't, haven't seen it. And, uh, yeah, enjoy. All right. Later.